Welcome to the intriguing world of a classic TV series that kept audiences on the edge of their seats Columbo. This detective drama, which first aired in 1971, brought a refreshing twist to the crime-solving genre. What sets Columbo apart is its unique narrative structure. Viewers witness the crime unfold at the start, followed by the relentless pursuit of the perpetrator by the unassuming yet brilliant detective. But hold on tight, because as you dive into the episodes, you're in for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that'll have you chuckling, shocking twists that will leave you wide-eyed, and poignant scenes that might even tug at your heartstrings. So, why stop now? There are countless lesser-known facts and anecdotes about this series that are bound to fascinate you. Do you have a favorite scene that has left a lasting impact on you? Or perhaps there's a little-known fact about Columbo that surprised you? Keep watching the journey is just beginning. Now, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to Columbo might be a shared sentiment among fellow fans. So, don't hold back. Get ready for a ride filled with suspense, humor, and unparalleled detective skills. There's more to Columbo than meets the eye, and we can't wait for you to discover it all. This TV series, produced in Hollywood, clearly aims for entertainment rather than strict procedural accuracy. The investigative methods used by the main character in this 1971 show, while engaging, often go against real-world legal standards. The protagonist's frequent lack of search warrants and reliance on assumptions would typically be considered circumstantial evidence in a courtroom. Notably, he rarely faces resistance during his inquiries. Instead, people readily invite him in for conversations. The series, spanning multiple seasons starting from 1972, provides an interesting look into changing societal norms over the years. Columbo's avid cigar smoking is a consistent element. In the earlier seasons, he smokes without much reaction from others, but in later episodes, there's a shift in public attitudes with people expressing discomfort and making remarks about his smoking habits. Columbo's enduring popularity spans generations, with viewers of all ages finding enjoyment in the character. The show's irregular scheduling in Germany adds an element of chance for viewers catching it on TV. Some fans have invested in the complete box set, finding the series to remain engaging and non-repetitive even after multiple viewings. Detailed observations about his accessories, such as cigars, cars, and the tin used for cigar storage, showcase the production's meticulousness. A viewer who has watched the show since its premiere and is now 57 emphasizes the subtle changes in Columbo's clothing, tying it to specific episodes. Mentioning different dogs and variations in tie colors and prints demonstrates the keen eye of a dedicated viewer. In summary, the show, with its entertaining and somewhat unconventional investigative approach, has left a lasting impression on viewers across generations. The characters' quirks, coupled with evolving societal portrayals, contribute to the show's ongoing popularity. In a 29-court trial concerning Peter Falk's care, Dr. Stephen Reed revealed that Falk's health had declined to the point where he couldn't recall portraying the character Columbo. Falk's memory loss extended to not being able to identify who Columbo was. Peter Falk, the acclaimed actor behind the character, passed away on June 23, 2011, at the age of 83. Notably, Falk injected unscripted improvisations into his portrayal. These included seemingly mundane actions like requesting a pencil, searching his pockets, asking for repetition, or weaving in references to Mrs. Columbo. This unconventional approach aimed to unsettle his co-actors, creating authentic get-to-the-point moments. The iconic catchphrase, one more thing, wasn't a planned element. It originated during the creation of the 1962 stage play Prescription Murder, later adapted into a 1968 TV movie. Facing a scene that was too short, the creators, Dick Levinson and Bill Link, opted for laziness over retyping. They had Columbo reappear, saying, oh, just one more thing. Peter Falk's improvisational finesse, coupled with the unintentional catchphrase, added layers of authenticity to the character, setting Columbo apart from conventional detective dramas. In the world of TV history, Columbo posed a unique challenge during production. Initially, the plan was to air a new episode every week, requiring a demanding shooting schedule. However, the main star, Peter Falk, known for his roles in movies, declined due to the hectic timetable. As a result, the show adapted, and it found its place on Wednesday nights, appearing once a month.
Colombo's distinctive Peugeot convertible became more than a prop, it became part of the Universal Studios tour, giving fans a tangible link to the show's Hollywood roots. Meanwhile, the character surprised viewers with linguistic prowess. In two episodes, it was revealed that Colombo spoke fluent Italian, portraying a convincing Italian-American. This was unexpected since Peter Falk's actual heritage was Polish Jewish, Czech Jewish, and Hungarian Jewish, and he had no command of the Italian language. The 1971 series, with its entertaining and somewhat unconventional investigative approach, left a lasting impression on viewers. Columbo's quirks, portrayed by Falk with improvisational finesse, including unscripted actions and catchphrases, added authenticity to the character. The catchphrase One More Thing wasn't planned, but emerged from the need to extend a scene. This unexpected element further set Columbo apart from typical detective dramas, contributing to its lasting popularity across generations. In 2009, during a court trial concerning Peter Falk's care, it was revealed that the actor's health had declined to the point where he couldn't recall portraying Columbo. His memory loss extended even to identifying who Columbo was. Despite Falk's passing on June 23, 2011, at the age of 83, the character he brought to life continues to connect with fans, thanks to its authentic portrayal and unexpected twists. Peter Falk, the man behind the famous detective, once likened him to a relentless dog refusing to let go. This analogy captures the tenacity and determination that define the character. Falk's portrayal of the detective became synonymous with the role itself, a fusion of actor and character that brought him to life in a unique way. In 1971, writer Stephen Bochco, under the guidance of producers Richard Levinson and William Link, penned the first episode, Murder by the Book. Directed by Steven Spielberg, this episode marked the beginning of a series that would redefine the detective genre. Bochco, with no prior experience in murder mysteries or police dramas, received valuable advice from Levinson. Instead of writing for the character, he was advised to write for Falk, trusting the actor's instincts to bring life to the detective. The result? Murder by the Book clinched an Emmy for Best Writing, a testament to the success of this unconventional approach. In 1977, there was consideration to replace Falk with Patrick McGuhan. However, McGuhan staunchly refused, asserting that only Falk could embody the essence of the detective. McGuhan's commitment extended beyond acting, as he directed five episodes, showcasing the depth of his involvement in the series. Despite its entertainment-centric approach over strict procedural accuracy, the series found its unique rhythm. The detective's investigative methods, often straying from legal norms, delivered engaging yet unrealistic scenarios. His evolving interactions with societal norms, notably his cigar smoking, offered a fascinating lens into changing attitudes over the seasons. Peter Falk's decline in health, revealed during a 2009 court trial, added a poignant layer to his portrayal. Falk's unscripted improvisations, including requests for a pencil or references to Mrs. Columbo, aimed to create authentic moments transcending the conventional detective drama. The catchphrase One More Thing emerged organically, a product of necessity that further distinguished him from counterparts. The production of the series faced challenges, with initial plans for weekly episodes giving way to a monthly schedule accommodating Falk's commitments. The detective's Peugeot convertible became a tangible link to the show's Hollywood roots, engaging fans on the Universal Studios tour. Unexpected linguistic prowess emerged as he revealed fluent Italian in two episodes, a surprising detail considering Falk's actual heritage. This linguistic flair, coupled with Falk's improvisational finesse, contributed to the popularity of the 1971 series, leaving a lasting impression on TV history. In conclusion, The Detective, brought to life by Peter Falk's unique portrayal, stands as a testament to the power of character immersion. The series, with its unconventional approach, unscripted nuances, and unexpected linguistic twists, has secured its place in the pantheon of television classics resonating across generations.